Alrighty, I'm just thinking, um, you know, this is something you want to do because you want to do it. You're not going to make any money, you're not going to get rich. Even if you win first prize, which is a couple of grand some places, and a couple hundred most places, um, you're just not going to make an, you're not going to make a living out of it anyway. I mean, I got this car for nothing, although it cost me, you know, what, 80 bucks for the car trailer and... Oh, a tank of fuel. So, you know, what's that, another 100 bucks or something like that? So it cost me 180 bucks, effectively. I had to buy... Uh, I bought five metres of this chain. It's probably just going to be enough. Um, that was $10 a metre. For 10 mil. You can get $7 a metre for the, the 8 mil, as I said, though. I went for the 10 mil. The uh, round bar that I used my, for my roll cage, that was... Uh, from a salvage yard, I got four, eight, I'm going to get two four metre lengths and a two metre length of that for, for 40, uh, and the, the rectangle bar, 20 so, and then the, the all thread the half inch all throughout a four metre length of that, which I pretty much use the whole four metre length. I've used about two metres of the uh, of the three quarter inch. Uh, bit of round bar for the windscreen thing there, metre of that. Um, so in materials, if you include the welding wire, which is a whole spool of welding wire, um, let's say a hundred bucks or thereabouts for materials. Um, I had a lot of stuff, like I had that mesh, I had, um, you know, various bolts and nuts and washers and stuff already. Um, so we're at, what, 150, 250, not including buying these which I was going to buy anyway I've already got the air compressor and I was going to buy both these anyway so I'm not really including those in the price um, as I said like the tyres and stuff I'm going to be lucky to get those swapped out for free because I'm, I'm giving them the tyres and getting old crappy ones um, so you know 250 I guess isn't too bad if you can get two derbies out of the car and if you don't win I think $250 worth of fun yeah, it would be two derbies. Uh, and then, of course, the harness. Oh, the harness is quite cheap. I got those on sale for $30 for the pair, believe it or not. They're normally $80 each. They're supposed to be um, on sale for... Uh, actually, I think I've shown you the harnesses. I'm not sure. They're only... F uh, what are they? Three point. Um, across the waist and over the shoulder sort of harness. You know, they're, they're decent quality. They're pretty nice and thick, they're not really cheap thin ones, they're not great, I mean they're Chinese, you know, but so they're, they're supposed to be $80, they're normally $80 each, they're supposed to have a sale for $30 each, but they, if you bought two of them, but they stuffed up on their shopping cart and it became $30 for the pair, had I known that I would have bought two pairs, <laughs> but that was alright, so, got the harness, uh, the fuel cell was $50 pre-made from, um, uh, an ag farming shop in Bow Desert. I can't think of the. Have I got that name? Uh, they make them for the Bow Desert Derbies, but they, they sell them uh, elsewhere as well. I don't know where my sheet is with the rules on it. It's got no name in it. But uh, they're from Brian Brown's point. Um, Bow Desert. There we go. They're on here. From uh, the page, I think. Look here. Do, do, do. Oh, I'll just use some. It does tell you how you can make your own if you want. Yeah, there we go. Fuel tank can be bought from. I don't think you can read that. Fuel tank can be bought from Ray Artis, Artis Royal Service, five five four four two two six six from Bow Desert. So look them up. Um, and it's yeah. It looks like. 
looks like that on the, that's a round monoflat plate, there's your anti-spill, and of course two pipes for the, uh, fuel injection, one pipe if it's carburetor, but you can use the fuel injected one um, on carburetor cars anyway. So, yeah, I don't know, I mean, so it's that 300 plus uh, fuel hose, four metres of fuel hose, Just another 40, 50 bucks there, 350, so you would easily have spent, oh, plus nuts and washers for the all thread. I mean, okay, a lot of this is reusable, like all these chains and stuff, I'll pull off, use again, but, you know, initially it'd be $500. It'd probably then be, you know, 200, uh, if that. But you will get scrapped back. I mean, I've kept, I've kept the pile of steel um, that's scrapped from it. So there's that. Um, yeah. So it's just just musing, you know, it's something that you'd want to. Um, something you want to do because you enjoy it, not something you want to do because you need to, <laughs> or, you know, not something you want to do because you want to make money, that's for sure, and it's a lot of work, I've spent a lot of hours on this, um, what about it, three months or something, I've had it, well, two months anyway, and I've got another, I'm saying, you know, like I'm talking probably three or four hours on a sad day and six hours on a Sunday so that'd be good ten hours a week at least uh, plus when I get time after work and things like that as well so yeah it's definitely definitely labour of love so I just thought I'd give you guys a rough idea of cost so you're looking at about four metres of half inch all thread like if you want to do one of these for yourself um, you probably buy yourself four metres of uh, three quarter inch as well Especially if you want to use all thread on the bonnets, which you're allowed to do. I just didn't bother. Uh, five metres of chain. Um, you probably use four metres if you're doing a sedan. You need extra on the back tailgate here for, for a wagon. It uses a lot of chain through there. But you'd buy five metres to have a bit left over. You know, uh, round bar for the roll cage um, is two, four, six. Eight, you probably want 10 metres of, of, of roll cage material in your fuel tank. And then most of that stuff you can pull out and put in the next car. So once you've got it, you've got it, you know. Um, there's a few other expenses. Well, all the wiring I had, it was all existing wiring out of this car, except for the actual fuse box, which I had anyway. It's out of a Speedway car. Um, I don't know if I can hold it still enough for you to see that. But the fuse box that I use, uh, the circuit breaker, or the, uh, sorry, master power switch there, the battery cradle, the power leads, I had all that, but if you had to buy that, there's another hundred bucks there, plus, easily, um, you know, still got to buy this helmets, um, which can, depending on where you get them, can be anywhere from fifty bucks upwards, so, if it's your first time and you have no materials and you want to buy, say, you don't really, well, you don't need a welder, you could borrow, you could rent a welder for a day to weld a couple of bits and pieces on the cage, or pay someone a hundred bucks to do it probably. But if you want to, other than that, um, the minimum you would need would be an angle grinder. Uh, so at the very little you're going to need an angle grinder, you're going to need a dozen or so cutting discs. You're going to need a good set of spanners, a good set of screwdrivers, a good set of pliers and things like that. Wire strippers and crimpers are always handy. A couple of sets of ice grips come in handy as well. Probably a crowbar of some description. Good set of sockets, something like some Lanolin or WD-40 to get loose bolts and stubborn bolts out. Uh, you don't want to cut, you want to undo as much as possible because you want to reuse as much as possible. Um, a good drill set. You know, I bought a cheap set from Super Cheap, um, which isn't, uh, that's right, it's over the other side. I had a cheap Super, super Cheap set, the same as that, it was 40 bucks, and I used the drills like twice and they all snapped. This is a good set from Trade Tools, 
was a hundred bucks, but it's lasted you know a lot longer. Uh, so it's worth spending the extra bit of money on that. Um, something like a uh, I don't know where it is. I think I've shown you guys before the um, the uh, step drill for drilling different size. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't see it at the moment. I think it's out in the car. But yeah, the step drill for drilling different size holes uh, in different size, um, you know, to make things easier to fit rather than just drilling a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't need a huge amount of stuff to start. The more you've got, the easier it is. The basic tools will be sufficient. Um, rattle guns make life a lot easier, but once again, you don't need them. It's just something that's handy if you have them. But yeah, angle grinder, drill, drill with bits, a couple of drill pads, um, screwdriver bits that you can put in your drill, like these things. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I like these things. And there's spider web on the lens. <laughs> uh, things like this you can put in the drill. They make life a lot easier. Um, yeah, this video is going on a lot longer than I wanted it to. I've used a cordless drill for 90% of my stuff. I do have a power drill for cutting through, drilling through the barbecue plate and the roll cage, but everything else pretty much was done with uh, cordless. Just a cheap Zito cordless, 12 volt cordless. Um, you probably want to get a pack of crimps, like this one here actually, there it is. That thing there has done so much work, it's amazing how much that drill's done. Um, yeah, standard pack of crimps for your electrical stuff. Uh, yeah, you know, you don't need a huge amount of stuff, but as I said, the more you have, the easier it is. The, even with the right gear, it still takes time, but if you've got the time and the patience, you know, you, your budget's small, you can spend time going to salvage yards and scavenging chain and all that sort of stuff you need. Um, it's the best place for steel. So, yeah, don't be put off. It's good fun. Um, I need to find a passenger. That's my biggest problem. I can't find anybody to be a passenger. So if I can't run because I can't find a passenger, I'm not going to be impressed. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it uh, for me for now. This video is recorded back to back with the uh, other one, but I'll probably put it up the following day. And I might have another one go up yet. But uh, I need to go and mow the lawn before it gets dark. So, alright guys, catch you later.